Well, hello there, everyone. It is Monday, June the 1st, year 2022. It's been a crazy day for me so far. Anyway, that's fine. Hopefully you're doing outstanding. I've been running around, been on the phone quite a bit, but I want to answer your, I got a question. Is your cell phone on its way to becoming obsolete? And not just your cell phone, my cell phone, and everyone's cell phone. Your smartphone that you have, cell phone, whatever you want to call it, your, your iPhone, your Apple phone, your Google phone, your Samsung, whatever model you ain't have. Are you ready for that to be replaced with something completely new? Or is that just something I'm making up? Stay tuned and I'll answer that question later in this video with some breaking news. <laughs> anyway, as always, I'm not a financial advisor, I'm not a CPA, I'm not an attorney, etc., etc., etc. But it's been an interesting day and I just heard some great other breaking news for any of you real estate investors who may have property in Indiana. Kiave just told me they are now live in Indiana. They were live in Illinois, Chicago. They are now live in Indiana. I am still waiting for a phone call back to learn the parameters of what they can do, and what they can't do. Hopefully they will be able to help me out in Northwest Indiana and perhaps help out others in my mastermind group. One concern I might have is, even though the market we're buying in is going up in price, they're still lower priced than a lot of time, a lot of places. So can they help us out? Will they go low enough on their mortgages to help us out? I will let you know when I know, and I'll let my mastermind group know as well. So with that being said, let me see, what else have I done today? Here's a couple things. One thing as a real estate investor, I've said this different times, don't copy me. One thing I did, if you remember, I have that story of zero to 25 rentals in four years. It was actually zero to 25 rentals in four years and 11 months, <laughs> approximately. And the 25th rental was bought in, in December of 2020. In first quarter of 2021, I bought this house here in Florida. This house here in Florida stretched me to my limits, basically. At the same time, I had my house in Virginia where I moved from and I was rehabbing that house, so money was tight. But when the missus moved down here, she left her job. So no job, we're not working, we're financially independent, meanwhile paying for this house. The cool thing is I'm still growing my investments. I was able to tap into other funds and I'm still growing. But as a budding real estate investor, which a lot of you are, if you have a primary residence that you own, that will hurt you in trying to become financially independent. If you can rent where you live and rent at a reasonable price, that can better help you. Um, why? Because when you own a home, you have to do the repairs yourself. When you rent, the landlord does the repairs. If you own a home like I do, or like a higher, a nicer home, Things break more. When I bought this house, it was 20 years old. You think, 20 years old? That's not an old house. My house in Virginia was like 75 years old. So 20 years old, it's a new house. But we're in Florida. In Florida, things wear out quicker. So a couple things I was doing today. <laughs> My house, it's a nice house. I have shutters, hurricane shutters on all the windows, every single window. And on the normal windows, like the window to my left right here, um, they are accordion style, they're permanently affixed, and if I need to close them, I can I can slam shut. They're accordion style, they're, it's protected. On my front entrance and my back entrance of my house, big entrance, high, it's very high, I have electric shutters that come down. Okay, now with that being said, they're 20 years old. So the ones on the windows, they're hard to jiggle and get closed sometimes, some are easy. Some we can't close completely. Um, the shutter on the back of the house, it will not go all the way up, it'll stop. And the shutter on the front of the house, just recently I found out it will not go all the way down to the ground. It'll stop a foot and a half, two feet above the ground. I'm sure it just needs something minor tweaked up there. So anyway, I talked to a company today and they're gonna come out here soon, but not this week, but next week. And they say they can inspect repair anything that needed to be repaired and lubricate because they need to be lubricated annually. So hopefully they can fix me up without breaking the bank. <laughs> okay. Um, and they're, they're not too expensive anyway. Uh, but if I need to buy these shutters brand new, shoot, I'm probably looking at $10,000 at least, maybe $20,000. Stuff's expensive. 
All right, what else then? I've called the pool place because my pool guy said he could get me a um, pool heater and a call him in June and he could get like the uh, the discontinued models that they got left over. That'll be, they'll knock a couple hundred dollars off. So he said call him in June. So I called him waiting for a call back. Um, I called one plumber. He told me he couldn't do a job. He recommended somebody else and I called them. So we got something set up for them to come by. But I've had a video down on my dock and I got a boat lift over there. I, it's on my list to get a boat one day. <laughs> we'll see if that ever happens. But what I need down there is water. I need a faucet down there. I need to be able to hook a hose up to it. One, to spray my dock off when it gets dirty. Cause I like to keep it clean. Two, if I get a boat, anytime I um, use that boat, I need to spray it off, wash the salt off. Three, we have plants down there and it'd be a lot easier if we have the hose down there that we can use. Okay, so we got that. All right, so anyway, I got an estimate on that. That's gonna be, they gotta run a water line from my water service all the way down. And let's say that could be pushing fifteen hundred dollars. Uh, the shutter maintenance could be three fifty four hundred. I also need a gutter, um, a front gutter on my house. For whatever I know the reason when they built this house, the one gutter over the entranceway it has no downspout. Ludicrous, crazy, idiotic. Why would they do that? I know the reason why they did it. My guess, aesthetics. They want it to be pretty. I don't care about that. I mean, I want a pretty house, but you got to drain the water. So what happens is one end of that gutter will overflow when it rains. Cause when it rains in Florida, we're talking three, four, five, six inches of rain. So that gutter will overflow and it goes right onto one side of my roof. And I've had a leak in that roof in that area that contributed to it. Cause now we get that much more water for 20 years pouring down there. So I want a new gutter. I want a downspout. I don't know what that's going to cost me. I got a message in, um, with a company, I'm guessing that could be 1500, 2000, 2500. Just guessing. I don't know what that's going to cost me. I've also, as I mentioned, heard back from Kiabi. They did say, I, th I said this in the beginning, they will, they are now live in Indiana, but I don't know the parameters yet. I hopefully will know them soon. I'm waiting for a phone call from my contact there. All right. What else did I do there? And I've been to the pool store. We had a lot of rain the other weekend, that tropical storm. So I, I added a cup of acid on my own over the weekend, but today I had to add three more cups of acid because the rain, it, do, it affects the pool chemistry. So it was minor. Acid's easy to, to add. Just don't pour it on yourself. It'll burn you. So, oh, last thing, technology. I read something today about um, Apple. Apple is having their conference right now. If, I think you can watch it on YouTube, I believe. I'm not going to watch it. Um... I used to have an investment in Apple and I did quite well with it. Split adjusted, I don't know, probably under a dollar now what I bought shares at, but I sold them um, at some point in the last two years, which is fine. I moved it into uh, other stuff. So, but one thing I was reading is, it was a quote from um, oh Tim, Tim Cook, the CEO. He replaced Steve Jobs when Steve died. Um, Tim Cook what said he was so excited he wanted to scream about this technology they're working on because he's so happy about what it can do he was talking about ar artificial reality and vr virtual reality the quote was from like 2017 okay that's how excited he was then all right so i have followed ar i have followed vr um AI, artificial intelligence, VR, virtual reality, AR, um, artificial reality. As an investor, because I used to invest in those type of stocks. So I know, and I used to be an electronics technician. I know what the technology is. I know what they're trying to do. Um, but anyway, I read something that Apple, I've known this for years. I used to, like I said, I used to invest in Apple. Apple has been working on a VR, AR type headset. And what is kind of leaking out a bit, because everything leaks eventually, their goal, I think, is to replace the iPhone eventually. Because Apple is pretty good with breaking the mold and introducing new stuff, new products. They're not just going to say the, the iPhone's obsolete or the cell phone's obsolete. But it's coming because they're looking to put it up here. <laughs> However, they, whatever the design is, it might not be like um, picturing or your picturing. 
It could be a new design. But along those lines, do you have a smartwatch at all? And the reason I ask, I wear a Fitbit. I've worn a Fitbit for years now. I just ordered a scale off Amazon the other day. It just arrived today. I ordered it, I think, Saturday. Or did I order it yesterday? Either it's Saturday or Sunday, I ordered it and it arrived today. It's a smart scale. It was marked down from $69 to $29. And then it had an $8 coupon. So it was $21 plus tax was $23. So anyway, there's an app, as always, to connect to my smartphone, as always. And they can calculate my weight, my body mass index, my body weight, the protein in my body, the water percentage in my body, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But the technology, like Apple in their conference um, today, and it might be more than one day, today, tomorrow, next day, maybe. I think usually it's a two or three day event, I think. But they're, they're big into health stuff. They want to be able to, with the, uh, this is, Google owns Fitbit, Apple and Google want to be able to monitor more health conditions. They want to be able to monitor your blood pressure. This Fitbit already checks my pulse. It, this Fitbit monitors my sleep. It grades my sleep every night. Um, but they want to be able to do check on diabetes. They want to check on your body temperature or their fluctuations. Uh, they want to know if there's variations, like if you're getting COVID, that something's changing in your body, you're getting sick. They want to get to where they can they might not be able to identify exactly what's happening, but they'll be able to pick up on changes that are happening in your body before you start getting symptoms. So perhaps you can put a stop to it before it kicks in. Along those lines, I just saw where another company has, they did a very small test on rectal cancer. And it was a new drug, new treatment. And they gave it to 18 patients who had rectal cancer and it eliminated the cancer in all 18 people. No medication has eliminated cancer in 100% of its patients. Granted, this is very small, it's only 18 people. They need to make it bigger, but if this works, it's a life changer for a lot of people. Because if they can thwart this one type of cancer, that make, takes them a step closer to thwarting all the other types of cancer. If Chiave opens up in Indiana, that <laughs> opens up, I got a Texas coming down there, sorry. That opens up opportunities for us real estate investors in Indiana. It gives us an option. It doesn't mean we have to go with them. It gives us an option. But I have two other videos about Kiabi. I'll try to put a link in this video too. If you want to use Kiabi for a mortgage or a refinance, um, another text coming down. I got ducked below the text to see it. If you want to use Kiave, then if you click on the link I'll provide, you'll get $350 once you successfully close, and I'll get $500 once you su successfully close. So it's win-win for both of us. It doesn't cost you anything extra. I get a little bit of money. You get a little bit of money. So it's win-win. And once you close, then you can refer other people to get $500, and they'll get $350. So along those lines, I'll wrap this up with saying this. I made a two-minute video yesterday about Amazon. I intentionally made that to delete it today. That was my plan. I didn't tell anyone. I made it with a different expression on my face, but I'm trying to get y'all to understand. I provide you a lot of free information. I've been doing it for 14 months now. I have helped a lot of you to get motivated, to get started, to find, figure out how you can buy real estate, to et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I've got nothing in return. So when I put links for Amazon in my description, if you click on those links, it'll open up a product in Amazon, like a book. You don't have to buy that book, but if you buy anything from Amazon that day while you're clicked in, I'll get a, I think it's a referral fee. I'll get something small. It's not a lot. It's not a lot. Like folks have to order a lot of money for me to get say $25. They gotta order roughly a thousand bucks or so for me to get 25 or, or thereabouts. But I guarantee 75% of you that watch this use Amazon. So help me out. Click on the link. I'll get to the point, hopefully, within six months where I don't need to be monetized on my channel. I won't need the Amazon link on my channel. I'm not greedy. I don't chase more money than I need. I do plan to keep growing my investments, though. But once I get to the point where I am comfortable, because money's still really tight right now, so once I'm comfortable, I will not put links in my description below like I'm doing now, okay? And I don't care if I'm monetized. 
once they get to that point. But while right now it's like, man, I want to be monetized. I need some extra income coming in. So a dollar is a dollar. A little bit helps. So with that being said, I want to sign out of here. Click below for links. Um, I'll put a Kiave link below too. So y'all take care. Stay safe in all you do. And Maskey is signing out.